it'll save you about $30,000 a year. $76,000. Full ride scholarship. No university has a better deal for international students in the United States than the University of- Hello my people, my name is Meacham. Today I am your Dean of Savings. We're gonna show you a bunch of universities that give you in-state tuition even if you're an international student. Is that even possible? Yes, and thanks to something called an out-of-state tuition waiver, any Anybody who qualifies can get in-state tuition at any of the public universities on our list today. So what are these out-of-state tuition waivers anyway? An out-of-state tuition waiver allows you to pay in-state as long as you qualify for the waiver. Now our methodology was pretty simple here. First we take the out-of-state tuition and subtract the in-state tuition to get the total value of an out-of-state tuition waiver for a single year. You're going to need to study for at least four years so what I did was simply multiply by the number of semesters that you could get and then divide that by two since there are two semesters in every year. Unfortunately, not every university makes it easy to get these waivers, so we've also added a difficulty score and we're gonna divide that total value by the difficulty to get the expected value or the final score here for this Dean's List. So let's get started. Number 10 on our list is the University of Texas all of its campuses. To qualify for an out-of-state tuition waiver at the University of Texas, all you need is $1,000 in scholarship aid as an international student. The problem is they are not easy to get. By their own admission, only about one in 10 students that apply will be able to get a waiver. They're given out by each faculty, so each faculty at each campus gets a certain number of waivers that they can issue, which means you're gonna be competing directly with everybody else in your faculty for that waiver. They're also not automatic from year to years. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that at best, you'll be able to get them for half of your time at University of Texas. But they are crazy valuable if you can get one. I mean, it'll save you about $30,000 a year. And given how scarce they are, you're probably looking at about an expected value of $19,000. Good enough to make the list, but nowhere near our top options. Number nine is actually how this video got started. A bunch of SCORE students got admitted to the University of South Florida, and they got a scholarship for $1,000 a year. A year. Sounds kind of lame, doesn't it? But when we looked closer at the emails that they got, they were told that they would get in-state tuition because of their scholarship of $1,000. That changes the game completely. So how do you get that scholarship in order to qualify for in-state tuition at University of South Florida? If you have an 1180 on the SAT or higher and a 3.3 GPA or better, you will qualify for their basic scholarship. And from there, you'll qualify for in-state tuition. If you keep your GPA up above 3.3, you're going to keep your waiver for the duration of your studies, making this an incredibly attractive option for international students. For number eight, we've got a tie. We've got Valdosta State and the University of West Georgia, two public universities in the state of Georgia with the exact same tuition pricing, and they both have out-of-state tuition waivers. Valdosta State makes it easier to get a waiver on paper since they only require a 3.0 GPA, but they say there are limited supplies of waivers so there's really no guarantee that you're gonna get one. Meanwhile, West Georgia makes the requirements a little more difficult, but basically guarantees those waivers. For West Georgia, you're gonna need an 1170 or better on the SAT and a 3.25 GPA to qualify for a 100% out-of-state tuition waiver. If I had to pick one or the other here to say which is better, I would say it's West Georgia because they also have a 50% out-of-state waiver and even a 25% waiver. So if you don't quite have the SAT and GPA score required, you can still qualify for a discount. We're sticking with the peaches because apparently there's a bunch of universities in Georgia that have out-of-state waivers. Georgia's though is probably the most difficult waiver to get out of any on this list. They say that you only need a 3.0 GPA to be considered so it sounds kind of easy but when you take a closer look at the process it's extremely difficult you have to be nominated that's like a f***ing jungle outside you have to be nominated by a head of department or the dean of a faculty to even have a chance at getting this waiver. So odds are new students will probably not know anybody and not get that kind of recommendation. The deans are only allowed to rank three people, so the odds of you even getting one are just really, really slim. Now on the bright side, if you do manage to get the nomination and get the waiver, then you will keep it for the entire duration of your studies. But again, it's so difficult to get that your expected value is much lower than the actual total value. Go for it, because it's a great university. 
University, but don't get your hopes up. Number six university here is similar to USF, except it raises the difficulty level a little bit. The University of Arkansas requires you to have $4,000 in scholarship funds in order to qualify for an out-of-state tuition waiver. The Chancellor's Scholarship is available to international applicants who are the top applicants from the pool. And the community scholarship could give you a bonus if you've done a lot of community service or intend to do community engagement projects at the university. There's also the Silas Hunt scholarship that is for underrepresented minorities, whether that's a gender that's not common in a particular major or an ethnic group that is not well represented at the university, or even first time students, first generation students from their families. So you might qualify for one of those. If you do qualify for any of those three, you will be able to qualify qualify for an in-state tuition payment. Now, if you like potatoes, you're gonna love number five. We're talking about Idaho State. Top international applicants are awarded full out-of-state tuition waivers at Idaho State. They do call for a 3.5 GPA, so they're a little more demanding than some of the other universities on our list. But it also seems like there's enough money to go around. I mean, how many international students can there be in Idaho? I wonder how many international students there are at Idaho State. I, I don't know, I didn't look this up before. More than 1,500 international students, or 12% of ISU's population. I stand corrected, there might be some competition for this waiver, still we're keeping it at number five. Number four is an easy peasy waiver. It is William Patterson University, located in New Jersey. These guys promise to give in-state tuition to every international that qualifies, and the bar is not high at all. All you need is a 2.0 GPA, which you can literally get if you have a pulse, and you pay attention like a quarter of the time in your classes and you show up on test day and just write your name correctly, easy waiver to get, worth the money, check it out. Now we go back to Texas, yeehaw! Number three is the University of North Texas. They basically copy pasted USF's model. You need $1,000 in scholarships to qualify for a University of North Texas out of state tuition waiver. And they'll ask you to maintain a 3.25 GPA in order to keep it going for the rest of your studies. Now they don't say exactly what you have to do to qualify for one of their excellent scholarships, but considering that the bottom tier, which is enough to qualify for the waiver, is called the Scrappy Scholarship, I'm guessing the requirements are not that high. Seriously, these kind of sound like, I don't know, tier levels in a frequent flyer program, like, oh, you're only at Eagle level? <laughs> I'm in honors. Number two, Eastern Michigan University. What's it doing on my list? Well, I wanted to compare how Eastern Michigan would stack up against the rest of these universities since they're the ones that started this discussion in the first place. Now, the only problem with the formula is I can't exactly tell you what the out-of-state tuition would be for EMU because they don't have out-of-state tuition. So I decided to take a proxy. I used Central Michigan, another regional public university in the state. If we assume that they would have charged the about the same, then we're looking at pretty big savings of about $14,000 a year. I honestly could make the difficulty less than one here. It's literally guaranteed if you go there. That makes it the second most valuable out-of-state tuition waiver system in the entire country. But it is nothing compared to what you're gonna see next. I'm, I'm not even know if I'm ready for this. Like, it's so good. What I'm about to tell you is so amazing. Like, it's just, it's kind of mind-blowing me right now. I just. You're not going to believe it, it's going to blow your mind. We're talking about the University of Louisiana. No university, and I do mean no university, has a better deal for international students in the United States than the University of Louisiana. Their out-of-state tuition waivers are insane. Literally every first year international student can qualify and the requirements are completely transparent and really easy to get. All you need is a 1050 on your SAT. People, we get 1050s all the time. Even our lousy students are getting 1050s. Prepperscore.com. As far as GPA goes, you only need a 2.5. Again, that's something you can do if you're a zombie, but it gets even better. You're gonna get that savings for not four years, but five years. That completely broke the math here. But even if they only gave it for eight semesters, this would still be the best offer on our list by far. And it gets even betterer because if you have a 1250 on your SAT or better, and you've got a 3.0 GPA or better, then guess what? You're gonna get even more money. You get another $18,000. They cover part of your housing expenses for two years and they give you 1200 bucks a month. So 
so that you can, I don't know, make it rain in the Waffle House. But it gets even more superiorly better. -er -er. Cause look, if you're an absolute beast with a 1400 plus SAT score and a 3.5 GPA, and we have students in score that have accomplished this, this is possible. You get a full ride scholarship. 100% tuition paid, you get a room and board discount, you also get a campus meal plan, and you get a laptop computer! And it's good for 10 semesters. So not only are you going to get a full ride scholarship, a place to sleep, and a laptop, and food, you're going to get it for 5 full years so you can take your sweet time and enjoy Louisiana. My people, that is by far the best in-state tuition system for international students. It is the best out-of-state waiver there is. If you find one better, drop it in the comments because I want to hear about it. I'm telling you right now, if you apply to the University of Louisiana and you meet the stats, you're going to get your waiver and you're going to get it for the whole time. And it's the cheapest way for an international student to qualify for not only in-state tuition, but a full ride from a public university. There's nothing better. Whew. Oh man, honorable mentions real fast. I'm gonna have a heart attack here. I'm like, I'm feeling it. It's insane to me what I'm talking about. California State and Florida State. You guys are honorable mentions because they only give them for a portion of your credits. So it's kind of hard for us to measure those and they stayed in the honorable mention category. The University of Idaho is also on our list. They used to give these waivers just to senior year students who were experiencing some financial difficulties. They recently expanded it because of COVID to include more people. Good for for them, but not really a reliable option for someone looking for four years of in-state tuition. Finally, I have to mention Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is obviously an amazing university, could not leave them completely off the list, but unfortunately they only limit you to three semesters, so you're not able to get this benefit for very long, and that kept its expected value pretty low. If you guys want to learn more about in-state tuition and how it works, you can check out the video I made a few months ago talking about how you can get in-state tuition without going to any of these awesome options. And if you guys like this kind of video, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel, get used to it because I'm going to keep making it, and you can come back for it. And thank you for watching if you've made it this far. I really appreciate it. I will see you next week.